So there is this endless battle between the ASI Air and Nina. And while Nina obviously offers a lot more options and also supports a lot of equipment with the ASI Air does not support, the ASI Air on the other side is much more convenient, easier to use, and you can actually use it on a cell phone or a tablet, which is way more 2025 than Nina, which has to be used on a notebook, which is like so yesterday, isn't it? So can we do something about that? And in fact, we can. There's a new app out there. It's called Cygnus Astro. It's free. And it gives you the option to actually use Nina from your cell phone. And today we will look at it, what it offers. Hey, this is Film the Space. I'm Sascha from Switzerland. So good to meet you on. And thanks for watching my channel. So I thought that would be the optimal setup here to show you. On one side, we have here Nina. It's connected to my rig, which is outside. It's already dark outside. And on the other side, we have here my iPhone. So what you have to do that you actually can use the Cygnus app, you go in Nina in plugins and you install the advanced API plugin. Then you have to restart. And the amazing part is that is all you have to do. And when I now start the app, then without anything, like magic, it finds Nina and you can start using it. So at the moment, I just started Nina up. I have not done anything. I have not connected anything. So for example, if I go now here on the camera, you see here already the camera is stated correctly in here as it is here, Nina. If I click now here on connect, you see it also in the background, it immediately connects it. I can go here on cool. And you also see here it done the right thing and it starts to cool. Now let's just open here a parenthesis because I had a discussion about this app and he was like, yeah, it's, it's neat, but you still need to run Nina on your computer. The point is the following. If you think about the ASI Air, you also have to run the ASI Air, which is nothing else than the Raspberry Pi with some specialized software on it, on your rig. And then you connect with your cell phone to the ASI Air. Now this is exactly the same. Instead of the ASI Air, you have a mini computer on your rig. And instead of the ASI Air software, you run Nina. And if you want to have it completely automated, you can actually create a batch file so that when your mini computer starts up, Nina immediately is starting up. And then you don't really need a PC anymore. You can from the start actually control it here with the Cygnus app within reason. And we will check that. So we go now here to the mount. I also try to connect that and look here. Everything works fine. I even have here very nice convenient buttons like home, park, set as park. I have down here the mount controls, slew to thinness. Actually, I have a lot of functionality here, which I do not have here on my mount. For example, slew to thinness. I do not have it here, but I have it on the app. So that's pretty slick. Next, we have your guiding, PhD. It also, you see it immediately starts here. Works fine too. I can even just click here, start guiding, and it would start guiding. I do not want that yet. Then also look at that, the three-point polar alignment. That looks neat. If I can take that with me to my rig, and I do not have to have the PC right beside me when I do the polar alignment, this is already a huge thing. And generally what I like about this setup here is instead of with Nina, where you have actually the equipment, the activation here, but then everything else is in the imaging tab. Here you have everything together. If I go to the focuser, I find start out of focus and below here as I find the focusing curve. So everything is together what belongs together. And I think that's pretty cool. 
notice app has limitations. And the biggest limitation at the moment is the sequencer. Because as you see, if I go here on the sequence, it says no sequence found. Make sure the sequence is loaded in Nina. So you cannot load a sequence here. Also, it does not have the Sky Atlas here. So the illusion that you could do everything with this app is definitely still an illusion. But I had some mail exchange with the developer of this app and they definitely want to go further and actually also create a sequence editor and stuff like that in this app. So the vision is that at one point this app should be a full replacement of the desktop Nina. So that all you can do at the moment in the desktop app you will also be able to do in the iPhone app. So that obviously leads to the question, what's at the moment the advantage of the app? And personally, and everybody is different here, I see the big advantage of this app that I can control the shooting from my cell phone. So once everything started, that I do not have to carry around my notebook or always have to go to my PC, but that wherever I am, I can simply open this and have a look at what's going on. For example, if I get a push message at night that something is wrong and I just want to look at it, I usually would have to go up, go to my computer, turn it on and have a look at it. With this here, I could simply stay in bed, have a look on my cell phone, what's going on, perhaps make an adjustment or two and go to sleep again. And that's already enough to make this app for me worthwhile. Beside, it's free. And here we can now nicely see the whole thing in action. In the background here, Nina on my Mac and here in the front, how it actually looks like in sickness. You see the picture in the back. And you see also the guiding. So and that's really all that I need to know. That I know that everything is progressing well on my shot. And I have it nicely on my cell phone. So given it's free, it doesn't need a lot of convincing. I would recommend it to you. Download the app. Try it out. It takes five minutes to set it up. And I'm sure there will be one or the other situation where you will be really happy to have actually something like that on your cell phone and you're not always fully reliant on your PC. I hope that was helpful. See you next time. Clear skies.